Folks, in this episode, you're gonna see some huge fish go in the boat. It's post-pawn, this is my favorite time, but I'm also gonna talk about live scope and my setup. So sit back, relax, enjoy, please subscribe. We're getting right to the fishing on this episode, folks. Big fish in the boat. Hey folks, I wanted to talk to everybody about the setup I have for my live scopes. That's a good 12 inch right there. Um, my live scope. I didn't talk about the actual location. So I choose to use the transducers on the trolling motor and the live sweep. That's my choice. Um, I like the idea that I can go up on a brush pile with guests and clients and I can be on the side of it. I can use that sweep to sweep over and just keep it completely locked in on that brush pile. That's why I have the sweep primarily. Also, if I'm gonna fish a brush pile, I'm gonna be able to put it on spot lock now and that live sweep's gonna stay steady for me. So it's a really great setup. They're both linked to my Ultra 126 SV. I use the number one for the transducer on the trolling motor shaft, the number two on the one that is working for the live scope, the live sweep, I'm sorry. So two transducers, a great setup, consider it. Now I've got a lot of gear from Cornfield Crappie Gear, the telescope mount, the live sweep, the mount, the bridge, that whole stuff can be contact, you can contact Mark over there, at Cornfield Crappie Gear, great company, check it out. But that's just a little bit about my live scope transducer setup, that was a good fish. So what I'm doing is I'm starting the end by just easing into these piles. Um, this is a small pile that's coming and uh, I'm not rushing anything. I want to uh, start on the top of them and then move down through the pile. I don't want to disrupt them as much as possible, as, as best I can. I mean, it, it obviously isn't always going to be perfect. There'll be a fish in there that will just jump at something. but. Um, that's always the plan post-spawn. There it is. Boy, that guy. Just reminds me how big these fish are when you go to other lakes. It's amazing. This is a ho-hum 11 and a halfer. And uh, you can tell, boy, they're post-spawn. They're hungry. Oh my gosh, this is a good good fishing this is really good fishing bam easing up to that pile is critical in my opinion but these fish are hungry they're going to eat just about anything you go you put down there you do not need minnows folks at all um you know obviously i bring them for guide trips and such just because i think i, I should um but right now post spawn probably some of the best fishing that's 12 and a half fishing you can do easy fishing too easy fishing so i'm just using my electronics moving cruising up there with about 30 foot forward and then once i get up there i switch it to 20. and bam they put they put a hammer on now temperature today is 65 degrees huge wind 20 mile an hour wind i've got a guide trip tomorrow so i'm out here just prepping for that really fish here fish there then move on being an idea what they like which is anything right now so let's come out here spend a couple hours hit each spot a little bit uh maybe pick a fish off fish you know do a video and <laughs> and that's it here comes a nice little pile measurement on that one fourteen inch fish right there fourteen inch fish yes so it is official post spawn bite the first two weeks 
is amazing. It is by far my favorite time to fish. And I always wanna emphasize that to guide trips. Now, after when you guys see this, we'll be past this point, but think about it for next year. Always consider booking in middle May, early June, because this bite is without a doubt fabulous. This is a 14 inch, just a colored up male and just a great time to come out here and fish and just get some serious thumps on your jigs. So we're fishing a stump. There's quite a few fish on this stump. Oh boy, did I just get attacked. Nobody's taking it? Come on. Feel them tapping it. What a day, man. I'll tell you what, we started off this day with like the crappiest of weather. I mean, rained all morning. And I mean, when I say rain, I mean it legit rained. I mean, it was no sprinkle. And uh, all morning, you'd never guess we'd be out here with sunshine up and uh, still cool, don't, don't get me wrong, but, and big time wind. But I mean, the fact that we're fishing is, you know, that's that's springtime, I guess, you know. It's a, uh, they can switch on a dime for you. What a great day, three pound fishing. Still got hats, check them out folks at uh, threepoundfishing.com. It uh, got some really cool hats out now. Um, good variety, different colors. Fit all your needs is what I'm trying to say. Of course, I'm not wearing one, right? I'm just throwing, throw on whatever I got. I got hats in this boat though, I could switch, but they are beautiful hats though. No joke about it. Bornfield Crappie Gear, very proud of all their products. Man, that sweep is awesome. Getting a lot of questions about it, of course. Um, the sweep is really nice, man. If you want to fish brush piles and not have to worry about that extra handle, I think that's critical. The sweep really does take that away from you, having to worry about a second hand. Nobody has three arms as far as I know. And, I, you know, I try to work with mine and it's just at the end of the day, I want to be able to worry about fishing and not worry about managing a, a secondary pool. Now everybody's different. I ain't gonna, you know, people are gonna don't hate on me because that's my opinion. It is just my opinion. If you want to chase crappie, though, I think you have to put it on your trolling motor. That's my opinion. There's no better way to do it. That's for uh, chasing crappie, but for brush piles live sweep or you can just get yourself two live scopes just like i did i think it's awesome to have that option plus if anything goes wrong with one of them i got a backup whoa a guy came from under big time under that's freaking awesome freaking pig man gosh dang that is a good time man that's a good fish bam Ah, that's awesome. That thing just freaking hammered it. Ooh. Big fish coming on up. <laughs> this is awesome. Here, I'll swing it over the camera for you guys. Watch this. Oh, look at that fish. Post spawn, baby. Post spawn. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at that. That's awesome. I could do this all day long. All day long. Post spawn. Every year, every year it happens. People were like, you want to go fish post spawn instead of the spawn? I'm like, shit. The post spawn is consistent. It's efficient. Efficient by meaning that you're going to get your fish and it's going to happen. It's going to go, 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 go. Um, gosh, it's just an awesome bite. So, a little windy today. Just a little windy today. Just barely got this one on camera. <laughs> Check this out. That is a freaking pig. Imagine that fish with eggs. Good night. That's a beautiful fish right there. Let them go. Look 
of this fish, man. This is awesome. This guy's got a bruise on him. Check that out. See that? Ooh. Thanks for joining, I appreciate it. Please subscribe. That's it today, folks. Postpone crappie. This is a small one, but we had some dandies today. Dandies. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies. Good fish, we're gonna let them go today. Beautiful fish, wow. So consider a guide trip with three pound fishing this summer. Um, it's going to be great fishing on the same piles. I'll tell you right now, we're going to put some big fish in the boat. Summer is consistent, efficient, just like the post spawn. Maybe not quite as aggressive, but still just a great time. Three pound fishing guide service.